Okay, you must follow my uh, video of deriving Boolean expressions. It's quite important that we go through this before we go through coral maps. Okay, KMAP. KMAP is a bit difficult to understand if you find it hard to go through Boolean expressions. So the big question for this video is, can you basically derive an ex a Boolean expression from a truth table to satisfy the requirements of a particular logic circuit? So uh, remember, there are three basic logic gates. You've got the AND gate, the OR gate, and the NOT gate. Underneath it, I've got three different ways of writing out the um the an expression for each of those logic gates i'm going to be using the ones in bold you should also be familiar with the three different truth tables for uh, each of those basic gates now this is a logic circuit that we're going to have a practice with okay or a worked example with so we've got two binary inputs x and y uh z is going to be one when the two inputs are the same otherwise the output is zero Okay, you can see that there in the truth table. So basically what I want to do is I want to break that circuit down further to actually um, see in detail what's going on in, within it. All right. So in the first row, we know that when the two inputs are the same, X is zero, Y is zero, uh, then Z is going to be one. I can also come expand that table and I can say not X is one and not Y is one. So I can see a little bit more in depth in what's going on. Um, here, second row, X is zero, Y is one, not x is going to be 1, not y is 0, because they're being inverted, um, and z is going to be 0. Similar for when x is on and y is off, and then when both of the inputs are true, both of the inputs are on, not x is 0, not y is 0, and z is 1. Okay. Now what we're interested in are the, the two um, true outputs, Okay, where z is 1. So when we look at those two rows where z is 1, we can identify that We've got um, not X and not Y are also one, so we can loop around those. And you can see anywhere else in that bottom row, we loop around any true values in there. We can see that X and Y are one. So once again, an output of one, Z1. Okay, so basically, I can simplify that down to say that not X and not Y and X and Y. They're the two expressions that we're interested in. So once we've identified those two individual expressions, we can join them together in order to create our complete expression for the circuit. So I can say that Z equals not X, not Y, or X and Y. And that matches up with that truth table that we saw earlier. Okay, so that's basically deriving an expression using the, a truth table. So <clears throat> the rules for deriving an expression basically are, first of all, we draw a truth, truth table for the expression, the, the basic one. You expand it and then consider only the rows where the output is one. You loop the, um, draw a loop around the, uh, so circle around the, um, the uh, one values, okay? And you can basically then create uh, uh, an AND operation using each of the input values. Remember that if the value of the input is zero, you need to invert it in your expression. So you need to turn it into a not, like we did not X and not Y in the previous example and then finally you combine all the individual expressions for each row together using an OR operator so here's the bit where you practice okay so a circuit's got three binary inputs x y and z the circuit produces an output which we're going to call k for the fun of it uh, of one when only one of the inputs are on otherwise the output is zero so here's the bit where you press pause you have a go at trying to do this expression uh, to derive a Boolean ex uh, expression from this uh, for this scenario, and then once you've done it, press play, and we'll see if my working out matches your working out. And I'm hoping that you have just come back after pressing pause, so you should have got a truth table that looks something like this. Okay, so we've got three possible instances where uh, k will give you one. All right, if I expand my truth table, it looks something like that. And remember now, I'm only interested in the instances where k is 1. Once I've identified those instances, I circled off my um, ex uh, my ones in each row. So on that first one, I can see that z is on, and I've got x is off and y is off. So therefore, my expression is going to be... Oh, oh, hang on a minute. Sorry, change my animation. So the second row... Um, those are the, the, the positive inputs, the, the true inputs that I identified. And so my expression is going to be not X, not Y, and Z. 
not x and y and not z and x and not y and not z and then finally I connect them all together using an or and so therefore I should get k equals not x and not y and z or x not x and y and not z or x not y not z all right so you should basically be able to derive a boolean expression from a truth table now it's on to k maps and let's try and shut this video down